welcome to youtube this is our fourth tutorial on how to make a login application with php and mysql so let's get started now we need to make uh, that is oh sorry we need to uh, end this okay now we need to use this uh, tag that is HTML tag and user profile is here I'm going to use the demo image so uh, avatar image sorry using this view image and save image as inside the HTML login and create a new folder that is IMG and paste inside it and we are going to use this one image avatar copy right now we are using this demo so go to image directory then use this avatar.png and alternative is avatar image reload we have this image and we can set the image width is going to be 320 pixel reload and we can set the image size as uh, 100 pixel so this one so we can style this element later and after that we need to go to the uh, index.html file as you can see we need to uh, add our style element after the title so link the style element would be st uh, css style.css so here we need to create a new folder that is CSS and here new file style.css and we need to make some style on it so font family that we are going to use uh, sans serif for the default font and there will be line height line height you can say 1.6 background hash f6 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 color should be 3 triple 3 margin is going to be 0 padding is going to be 0 and more thing that is uh, font size and that should be 14 pixel another one would be webkit font smoothing sub pixel anti aliased for the anti aliased for the google chrome or safari based uh, webkit based uh, browser reload so okay now you can see that we are in a profile page and if uh, someone is login okay if you go to the login then index.html you are again in a login uh, page so what we need to do is we need to redirect the user uh, to there so we need to change it and we need to change it as index.php so rename it and change the html as php and after that we need to change something that is profile.php and we need to make changes here also php and inside the authenticate there also we are going to use uh, php and here also php 
now what we need to do inside our index.php that is we need to check if the session variable of um, user info is present so what we need to do is uh, inside our profile.php we need to get if we need to copy this from here session we need session start error reporting and this uh, here and copy this code inside of index.php and first start the php tag in the php tag and we have started start the session session start error reporting e all and this is one and if is set session user info we are going to uh, redirect the user to the in uh, that is uh, profile dot php here and also we need to go to the authenticate dot php also and also we need to use here also so go to the index dot php and reload copy this file and inside the authenticate dot php if is set uh, dollar session user info header location profile.php so reload sorry we need to go to make some changes because inside our uh, index.php we need to make it as profile.php and inside the profile index.php Reload query in a profile. When I reload this, you can see we are in a still in profile page. So if I delete on it, reload we are in a index.php file. Let's change it, chondo, and password should be password. And we are in a profile page. If I go to the index page it will redirect to the profile page so this code is working right now and we were in a index uh, we're in a style file that is style.css and now we need to see uh, inside the index.php that is login wrap so copy that will be our our id so we need to use hash sign then login wrap and we'll use uh, something that is the width width should be make it as 600 pixel uh, border we'll use one pixel solid ccc and reload and we need to log out okay so delete this reload and we are in a login page so we need to make the margin margin top i will use uh, 3em for bottom and top margin and auto i will use auto because uh, the left margin will be auto and right margin will be auto if i reload it you can see uh, the margin is auto so now what we need to do is we need to set uh, the body background with our uh, image so we need to use uh, that is login background image so images you can use a beautiful login that is going to be our okay let's use this so view image this is not HD version so I will use the HD image so I need to type in HD okay let's see uh, I can see this one and I will use the random one uh, so view image so we have this image save this image inside our image directory uh, that is going to be our login 
image save and inside our style.css we need to save the background as url we are going to we are going to this is one step uh, up from this css directory then img then login image and we need to close the bracket here so we are use no repeat scroll zero zero and background size should be covered and there will be another one that is background attachment fixed reload oh, sorry not this one reload so you can see our background has been set so we need to color this up so text align center color could be so we need to set the background of this login wrap that is uh, f6 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 reload we have this uh, login and we need to use the some padding also padding uh, that is for top 20 pixel and for right and uh, left 0 pixel here you can see and after the login ref input type text copy this to here and make it as password and we are going to use some style on it so we are going to use display block reload no i'm going to make it as inline block and then uh, padding i will use some padding that is uh, for top 15 pixel and for left and right that is going to be 10 pixel font size make it as 16 pixel and that is uh, another thing that is going to be margin margin bottom that is going to be our 15 pixel so reload and we can use width also so width 100% no 100% is very uh, so we need to make it as uh, 300 pixel ok 300 pixel is awesome and for the button login wrap input type submit uh, display block background red color white then I will use padding padding for top and bottom that will be our 5 pixel or 8 pixel and for the left and right 10 pixel so reload it you can see the login uh, so we need to make it as inline block so it will fix with this and font size I will use font size that is 1.3 em reload and we're going to use the padding as 20 pixel if i make the padding as 20 pixel it will look like this one and i will uh, set the outline as zero and borders need to be one pixel solid red or use dark red reload you can see on hover i will use the hover effect also so copy this one to here on hover the background should be no i will use opacity opacity is 0 0.5 so reload here you can see the opacity 
and cursor cursor is pointer so you can see the cursor is pointer and after that i will use the transition all 0 0.3 second uh, sorry make it as 0, okay, 0 0.3 second then the effect is in out again 0 0.3 second for the delay and reload so you can see here or you can use the border radius also so border radius should be 3 pixel so the border radius is here so you can see we have username enter password here and our lo uh, login page is looking beautiful and also we can uh, use the border red as on for the login wrap so change the login wrap the border red as border red as uh, that is 5 pixel and for the margin i will use 5 em for the top and bottom uh, and i will use uh, let's say 1 uh, 250 pixel okay if i make it okay it is lots enough 150 pixel okay this should be right and this is our login page you can see i will use admin uh, sorry john do password enter don't say so we have this profile page and we can use some uh, text inside the profile that is this is our image and i can use uh, id uh, that is profile and dot left call column and there will be dot right column and for the left column i will use the image and for the right column i will give some uh, that is username okay so change it as paragraph and strong uh, first name john strong last name should be do p strong then uh, user name should be john do p paragraph text strong email uh, john do at the rate example.com reload i have first name last name john do username john do that lots of things is here and i will use strong mm, that is mobile plus nine one nine eight zero one nine eight zero one so this is it and also we need to make here that is h2 element that is uh, user profile here and i will include the style 
that is link uh, that is uh, going to be CSS and style dot CSS I think so we load it we have this so we are going to use the ID profile uh, inside the style dot CSS uh, profile is going to be the background as white uh, width make the width as uh, 75 percent uh, margin zero auto and reload you have this and also we need to make padding some padding that is going to be our um, let's say for top and 25 pixel and for the right side and left side that is going to be 10 pixel so reload here we have this user profile and we need to make uh, the margin zero auto uh, we need to make the mar top margin as okay we have already the margin inside it and we need to make it as 150 pixel if we make this uh, it will take uh, okay we need to make it as 50 pixel okay we have this user profile and now we need to make uh, that is uh, we have this uh, left column and for the left column we need to use float left uh, width that should be uh, 49 percent and okay we can make the left column and for the right column as 49 percent reload i need to fix this so to fix this uh, we need to use uh, the clear fix so clear fix so inside the profile section we need to use the clear fix And for the clear fix before and the clear fix after we are going to make it as um, display table content sorry uh, content this one and clear fix after that should be clear both so we load it you can see we have this user profile and the John Doe and I can make it as ok so inside the profile h2 should be text align center so reload we have the user profile we have this image so we can uh, increase the image size also so inside the profile.php we need to make it as two uh, uh, 300 if i make it as 300 it will look like this and we have this image and we have the information about the profile thanks for watching this video tutorial i hope you will like this video for future update you can subscribe my channel and if you have any question on your mind you can uh, make comment on the comment section below on our youtube section thanks for watching see you next time